Social butterflies, have they gone extinct? Socialization in a digital age. My question for this study was, does technology in the classroom affect socialization skills? Why does this matter to me? Because I'm a parent of school age kids and I worry about how they'll develop social skills with so much technology in the classroom. I'm also training to become a teacher of elementary students and I want the best possible things for my students. I want to ensure they will be well prepared for life and in order to do that I have to know what effects technology will have on them. I also see how people communicate nowadays and I worry that the future generations will only know how to communicate through the use of modern technology. The background information for my research is technology in Canadian classrooms that I have observed through my volunteer experience both as a parent and future teacher as well as observing how people socialize without a screen and the repercussions of all of that. It is also based on my observations of more face time and not as much in-person interaction. I conducted my study through an online survey as well as in-person and telephone interviews. My research participants were parents, child care and education workers, and students and faculty members of Mount Royal University. I assured my participants that they would be protected from harm and that there would be no risks by making the survey anonymous and not including names when I did my interviews. My methods of investigation included scholarly articles from various fields of study, including education, psychology, and international education. I also did an online survey that was completed by classmates, faculty, friends, and family members. There was 18 participants. I conducted three interviews, two of parents of school-aged children and one of a professional in the field of child care and child education and schooling. I'm also basing it on personal parental experience as well as insight into social repercussions as well as personal repercussions. The questions that I asked in both the survey and the interview were, do you think technology has a positive or negative impact on communication and socialization skills? Does technology in the classroom help or hinder socialization between the students or the students and the teacher? Why? How do you think the use of technology in regards to schooling impacts a person's ability to be comfortable in all social situations? Which social, social situations do you think are more difficult for people now than they were 10 years ago? Could technology actually aid in better communication skills? Now we will review my findings and results from the survey, the interviews, as well as my articles. This shows some of my survey results in a chart. Figure 1 is the answer to the question, do you think technology has a positive or negative impact on communication and socialization skills? 55% of respondents think, think that technology has a negative impact on communication and socialization skills. Figure 2 is the answer to the question, could technology actually aid in better communication skills? 39% of respondents don't think technology will aid in better communication skills, while 17% believe that it could if used in equal measure with in-person interactions. In one interview with a parent of school-aged children, I asked, does technology in the classroom help or hinder socialization between the students or the students and the teacher, and why? Her response was, while technology can certainly have its place and benefits, I see an overuse of technology in the classroom, which I feel is a distraction rather than a useful tool at that point. It is overused and I personally feel that teachers have become lazy and complacent in their chosen profession, and now it is my children who will suffer from this. The fact that my children will not be encouraged to do research using textbooks, libraries, or need to know how to use a dictionary or develop fine motor skills used in handwriting, replaced with typing everything now and using Google or Spellcheck, very much bother bothers me as a parent. In my interview with a child care slash education professional, I asked the same question and the response I received was, technology in the classroom most definitely hinders socialization in the classroom between students. But students are their own learners, while technology allows each student to become more engaged with their own learning. In terms of student-teacher relationships, in some cases it improves through initiating more parent involvement, but it also helps having that face-to-face -face contact. These are some quotes taken from the articles used in my research. 
While these articles are from a variety of disciplines, I feel that they are extremely relevant to the education discipline, as well as all other disciplines that require you to work with children and youth. Some challenges that I encountered in my research were that there was not enough scholarly information about the question that I had. I didn't interview enough people. I would have liked more results from my survey. And in order to do a more thorough study, I would need a lot more time to conduct it. In conclusion, while technology can definitely have its uses in the classroom, my research suggests that socialization is not an area that is improving. Technology needs to be used in equal parts with face-to-face -face interaction. And for technology to help in socialization, we as teachers need to find ways to use the tools we have to engage the students together, teach those skills side-by-side -side with technology. Some future questions that have come out of my study are, how can we use technology in the classroom more as a learning tool and less as a learning outcome? Where is technology helpful in boosting communication skills? And, is there a happy medium? Thank you for listening, and I encourage you to find ways that you can use technology to complement your in-person interactions.